So in this video, we're going to review how to solve the one-step equations. And I've got lots of equations on here that we're going to review. We'll also review down below how to translate the one-step equations. And I wanted to just remind you guys up top with some vocab that our coefficients are the things that multiply a variable. So we're going to be dividing to get rid of them. Uh, if it's a fraction for our coefficient, we'll be multiplying by the reciprocal. And if we have a number all by itself, it's called a constant. And to get rid of those, we're going to add or subtract. So for the very first one we have here, we have 3 fifths of some number equals negative 9. Now I have a visual here to show you what we're saying is that we've got some unknown number. This whole bar is worth x, and we don't know how much it's worth. And we know if we break it down into fifths, that 3 of those fifths equal negative 9. So here's 3 of my fifths right here. Here's three of them, and those total negative 9. So if these total negative 9, we know each one of these has to be three negatives, which means this has to be a negative 3, and this has to be a negative 3, which means the whole thing is worth negative 15. We know the whole thing is going to be worth a negative 15. So now let's prove it. So to show that the x here is a negative 15, we're going to multiply both sides by this reciprocal. So since the reciprocal is a 5 over 3, we're going to multiply this side by 5 thirds. And over here, we multiply this side by 5 thirds. Now on the left-hand side over here, this 5 divided by 5 cancels out, and 3 divided by 3 cancels out. You've got the inverse property of multiplication that says that should be a 1. And then the identity property says that 1 times x is just x over here. Now on this side, you've got a couple of different options. Now the first thing I want to mention is that you know you've got a negative times a positive, so your answer is going to be negative. And you could do 9 times 5, which is 45, divided by 3 is 15. Or you could do the 9 divided by 3 is 3, and then times 5 is 15. And once again, since it's a negative times a positive, we know it's a negative 15. And the negative 15 has now been proven, and we knew to expect that going into the problem. So what we just reviewed here is that to solve a one-step equation, when you have a fraction over here, you multiplied both sides by that fraction. If the 3 fifths was negative from the beginning, then this blue number would have been negative, and then this blue number would have been negative. And then you would have had a negative times negative to be a positive answer, and that's the only thing that would have changed. All right? Now we're going to take a look at the second one where we have a constant, and in this situation our constant is this negative 5. So we're going to cancel that out by adding 5 to both sides. So over here, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. That cancels out, and x plus 0 is just x. And 11 plus 5 over here, we're going to get a 16. And to check, you can just take the 16 minus 5 and see that it is 11, so we're good to go. Now for the third one, we have that x is being divided by a negative 3 to equal 11. So since this is a denominator, which is a division thing, we're going to multiply both sides by that denominator. And over here, we're going to multiply by a negative 3. Now friendly reminder that over here, this is technically over 1. So that's why that cancels out, and x over 1 is just x. And so when you multiply 11 by the negative 3, we get a negative 33 for this one. And so when you see a denominator, all you've got to do is multiply both sides by the denominator. And now I'm going to erase that work so that if we just want to check, if we take the negative 33 and divide it by negative 3, it is in fact the 11. All right. Now you're going to notice on your worksheets that this uh, problem here is kind of boxed off. This one's like a little bit of a separate problem. And it's because it looks like it's only a one-step equation, but it actually is going to involve two steps. The reason this is a two-step equation is because secretly hidden right here in green is a negative 1 for our coefficient. So the first thing we're going to do is to subtract the 20 to get rid of the constant. We subtract 20 on both sides. And so then over here, 20 minus 20 is 0. That cancels out. And negative 12 minus 20, this is a negative 32. Now over here, we can't forget about this negative 1. That's technically with the x. Our coefficient is a negative 1. So now we have to divide both sides by this negative 1. And that's the second step that we're taking. So this now cancels out, and x is all by itself. And this is now a positive 32. 
So that's why this one was actually a two-step equation, because first we got rid of the constant, then we got rid of the coefficient, and that took us two steps to get that x here would be 32. Another thing to check here, you've got 20 minus x, so you now want to check to see 20 minus our 32. That is a negative 12, which is what we want it to be so we know we're good to go. All right. Now in my video, I'm actually just going to move over here. Now you can see I've got all the problems worked out for us. So again, we did this top row already. The first one, when you multiply by the reciprocal, this canceled out. And over here, we got a negative 15. You saw my work already for me adding 5 to both sides to cancel this out. You saw my work already for me multiplying both sides by 3 to cancel this out. And here we have a two-step. We subtracted 20, and then we divided both sides by this negative 1 right here, and that's why this was two steps. So now I'm going to work through this next row with you guys. So we have 4 fifths x equals negative 24, and you can see here in my work, because this is a fraction, I'm multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 divided by 20 right there just cancels out, so x is all by itself. And I wanted to show you guys here, I would just do the 24 divided by 4 is 6. Now 6 times 5 is 30. And once again, because you have a negative times a positive, you know this answer is going to be negative. So this one is a negative 30. For the next one, since your constant is a negative 15, you're adding 15 on both sides. So this is going to cancel out. And negative 3 plus 15 is 12, so x is 12. For the third one, since we have a denominator of negative 6, x divided by negative 6 equals negative 4, we're going to multiply both sides by the denominator. So this cancels out. Uh, multiplying something by negative 6 to turn around and divide it by negative 6, that cancels out, and you're left with the original number. And then over here, this negative times negative is a positive 24. And now, once again, we have another special, technically, two-step inequality, right, or in equation, I should say, two-step equation. Because first you got to get rid of your constant of 10, and 10 minus 10 cancels out. But right here we can see that we've got a negative 1 with our x, so we're going to have to divide both sides by this negative 1. Now over here we had a negative 7 minus 10 is negative 17, and now when you divide that by the negative, you're actually going to get a positive 17 here for x. And that makes sense because 10 minus 17 is negative 7. So now you have the option to pause the video and try the next group by yourself, or you can just look here at the key. But you can see for the um, first problem here, you've got a negative now for your coefficient. So I'm multiplying both sides by that negative. And on this side, a negative 2 over 1 cancels out with a negative half, and x is all by itself. And over here, you've got now 5 times negative 2. This side is going to be a negative 10. And I think that makes sense if you think about it. You've got a negative half of some number is 5. So when you check, if you plug in your negative half times this negative 10, the negative times negative is positive 5. All right, the next one's pretty easy. You've got a constant of 6, so you're going to subtract 6 on both sides and get 13 equals x. Since your denominator is a 2 here, you're going to multiply both sides by 2, so we get x equals 7. And for this one, be very careful, y'all. We have a constant of a negative 3 and 3 fourths, which is a negative 3.75. So since it's a constant, you want to just do the opposite to cancel it out. So this negative is going to cancel out with the positive, and x is all by itself. And you can just use your calculator to punch in an 8 that's negative, and then add 3.75, and you'll get a negative 4.25 in your calculator. Now, because this had a fraction originally, the red boxed answer here is what you're most likely going to see if it were an SOL or a multiple choice question. So that takes care of how to solve these one-step equations. Now let's go down here and translate them. Now what you can see that I have here for you guys is the word sum to remind you that it's the answer to addition. Difference is the answer to subtraction. Product is the answer to multiplication, and quotient is the answer to division. And we use this fraction bar now to show division, and whichever we see first from left to right goes in the numerator. So if I said the sum of x and 3, it would look like this. 
if I said the difference of x and 3, it looks like this. If I said the product of x and 3, I'm showing it with this coefficient. And if I said the quotient of x and 3, it would look like this with a fraction bar. So now when we want to translate over here, we see for number 1 that we have the product of negative 6 and m equals 18. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of the equals 18 part. We've got that. All right, now the product of negative 6 and m, we're going to have a negative 6 times m. You're going to show multiplication with a coefficient. All right, now to the next one. A number q squared is equal to 25. So you've got the is equal to 25 part. And now we've got q squared. So here is q. And then with an exponent of 2, there's q squared. All right, now we're on number 3. We have that 10 is equal to, so we're going to start with that part actually, and have the 10 is equal to, and now we have the quotient of a number x and 5. So since x comes first, it'll go in the numerator, so here's the quotient of x and 5. All right, so 10 equals x divided by 5. All right, now we're on number 4, 12 less than a number w is equal to negative 1. So here's my is equal to negative 1. And for the first time in a while, we're seeing one that has a than. So we've got to catch that a number w goes first. Now show me 12 less than that by subtracting 12. So be very careful here, friendly reminder, when you have a than, that whatever is after it actually goes first. Now show me the 12 less. All right, and for number five here, we have that two-thirds of number y is equal to 16. So here's the is equal to 16. And then we have that two-thirds of a number y. So here's going to be two-thirds with a fraction. Two-thirds of a number y is equal to 16. Now, you could actually go through and solve all of these really quickly in your head. If I wanted to know what number times negative 6 equals negative 18, you know that the answer to the first one is going to be a negative 3. m equals negative 3. If I wanted to know what number squared gives you 25, you know the square root of 25 is 5. If I wanted to know what number divided by 5 is 10, you know to multiply 10 and 5, so you know that the answer to number 3 would be 50. Here, if I want to know what number, if you subtract 12 from it, gives you a negative 1. Well, if you just add 12 to this, you'd get 11. So to check, 11 minus 12 is negative 1. And for the last one here, you would have to multiply by a reciprocal. Your picture, you might remember from earlier in the video, says that there's we don't know what the whole thing is worth. But if I take it and break it down into thirds, two of my thirds are worth 16. So these two boxes are worth 16, which means this has to be 8, and this has to be 8. So if this is 8, then total this is a 24. And we can show it right here if you multiply by the 3 halves, boop, boop, and then multiply here by 3 halves. Here's the 16 divided by 2 is 8, but we wanted 3 of them, so that would be 24. So over here in purple, we have the answers to all of these if we were to solve them, okay? And that takes care of how to solve and translate one-step equations. Thank you.